Hey, what's up, friend? Today, I wanted to discuss a challenge that many artists face, and that's imposter syndrome. Now, real quick, I'm in Indonesia, and there's tropical birds where I'm staying, and they are very loud. On your end, it might sound like a smoke alarm beeping, but just so you know, they're tropical birds, nothing to worry about. And I would like to record this video, and there's no way they take a break. So here we go. Like I said, this video is about the challenge that many artists face, and that's imposter syndrome. Feeling like a fraud or a quote unquote, like you're not a real artist is a common issue. And this can prevent individuals from sharing their work or taking pride in their progress. So let's explore how we can overcome imposter syndrome and embrace our artistic journey with confidence. Imposter syndrome can be a significant barrier to creativity and self-expression. It's the feeling that you don't belong or that your success is due to luck rather than skill. This mindset can lead to self-doubt, anxiety, and reluctance to share your work. However, it's important to recognize that imposter syndrome is a psychological barrier, not a reflection of your actual abilities. One unconventional strategy to combat imposter syndrome is to create an accomplishment journal. This is a dedicated space where you document all your artistic achievements, big or small. By keeping a record of your accomplishments, you can visually see your progress and build confidence in your abilities. In your accomplishment journal, include finished drawings, positive feedback from others, um, milestones reached, and any personal victories such as trying a new technique or completing a challenging project, testing out a new art supply, drawing for 20 minutes in one day. Each time you achieve something or anything positive, add it to your journal. Over time, this collection of success will serve as a powerful reminder of your growth and skill as an artist. Whenever imposter syndrome creeps in, take a moment to flip through your accomplishment journal. Reflect on how far you've come and the hard work you've put into your art. This tangible evidence of your progress can help counteract feelings of inadequacy and reinforce your identity as a real artist. Another thing you can do is use affirmations and positive self-talk. Affirmations and positive self-talk are effective tools for reshaping your mindset and combating imposter syndrome. Negative self-talk can be incredibly damaging and reinforcing feelings of inadequacy and self-doubt by consciously replacing these negative thoughts with positive affirmations you can build a more supportive and encouraging inner dialogue with yourself. So create a list of affirmations that resonate with you and reflect your artistic goals and values. For example, you can say, I'm a skilled artist. My creativity is valuable or I am proud of my progress. Repeat these affirmations regularly, especially when you feel imposter syndrome taking hold. Over time, these positive statements can help shift your mindset and build confidence in your abilities. In addition to affirmations, practice positive self-talk during your drawing sessions. Celebrate small victories, acknowledge your efforts, and be kind to yourself when you make mistakes. By fostering a positive and um, compassionate inner dialogue, you can reduce the impact of imposter syndrome and create a more nurturing environment for your own creativity. Another technique for battling imposter syndrome is sharing your work with a trusted group. Sharing your work can be daunting, especially when imposter syndrome is at play. However, receiving feedback and support from others can be incredibly beneficial. Start by sharing your work with a small, trusted group of friends, family, or fellow artists who understand and appreciate your creative journey. This group can provide constructive feedback, encouragement, and validation, helping you see your work from a different perspective. Choose individuals who are supportive and can offer helpful insights without judgment. Their positive reinforcement can help you build confidence and reduce feelings of being an imposter. 
Engaging with a supportive community can also help you realize that you're not alone in your struggles. Many artists experience imposter syndrome and sharing your experiences with others can create a sense of camaraderie and mutual support. Knowing what others face and knowing that they also face similar challenges can help can be reassuring and help you feel more confident in your artistic identity. And imposter syndrome is strange because imposter syndrome often stems from the belief that you should already be an expert or that you don't have the right to make mistakes. Embracing the learning process is a powerful way to counteract this mindset. Recognize that every artist, no matter how accomplished, is always learning and growing. So shift your focus from the end result to the journey of improvement. Celebrate your progress and view mistakes as valuable learning opportunities. Each time you try a new technique, experiment with a different style or tackle a challenging subject. You're expanding on your skills and knowledge. This growth mindset can help you see yourself as a developing artist rather than a fraud. So document your learning process in your sketchbook. Create pages dedicated to practice sketches, experiments, and notes on what you've learned. This not only helps you track your progress, but also serves as a reminder that every artist starts somewhere and that learning is a lifelong journey. And I actually think sketchbooks are more interesting with notes next to sketches. Like if on every page you wrote your thoughts next to it, man, looking back on that years from now, or even when you're long gone and other people find your sketchbooks, that's really fascinating. I mean, that's essentially what Da Vinci's sketchbooks are. These, these notes and thoughts and next to these amazing drawings. Also, visualization is a powerful tool used by many successful individuals to build confidence and achieve their goals. By visualizing your success, you can create a mental image of yourself as a confident and accomplished artist. This practice can help reduce imposter syndrome and reinforce your belief in your abilities. So set aside time each day for visualization exercises. Close your eyes and imagine yourself creating art with confidence, sharing your work proudly and receiving positive feedback. Picture yourself reaching your artistic goals and feeling fulfilled by your progress. The more vividly you can imagine these scenarios, the more real they will feel. The, use these visualization before drawing sessions to boost your confidence and set a positive tone for your practice. By regularly visualizing your success, you can train your mind to see yourself as a capable and talented artist, reducing the impact of imposter syndrome on your creative journey. And my last tip is to seek professional guidance. And it's really important that if your imposter syndrome is significantly impacting your mental health and creative practice, Seeking professional guidance can be highly beneficial, especially if your if your artistic talent is responsible for your paycheck. If if you are not able to make money from your job because of a feeling inside, I really recommend seeking professional guidance, talking to other professionals in your field or even seeking a specific therapist or counselor that can help you explore the root causes of your feelings and develop strategies to overcome them. Professional support can provide valuable insights and tools to manage imposter syndrome effectively. Look for a therapist who specializes in working with artists or individuals in creative fields. They can offer tailored advice and support to help you build confidence and embrace your artistic journey. Therapy can also help you develop coping mechanisms for dealing with self-doubt and negative self-talk. Remember that seeking help is a sign of strength, not weakness. Investing in your mental health is crucial for your overall well-being and artistic growth. You reach points where you just sometimes hit a block. It, it can look like that facing a blank page syndrome, but really it's you know, you just need to give yourself permission to be creative sometimes. And seeking professional help can 
help you realize that imposter syndrome is something you can easily crush. So like I've mentioned in this video, imposter syndrome can be a significant barrier to creativity and self-expression, but by creating an accomplishment journal using affirmations and positive self-talk, sharing your work with a trusted group, embracing the learning process, visualizing your success, and seeking professional guidance, you can overcome it. Remember, you are a real artist and your creativity is valuable. So take a deep breath, pick up your pen or pencil, and start drawing. Your creativity is worth it. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips and inspiration about drawing, being an artist, and filling up your sketchbook. So happy sketching friend and keep creating, keep exploring, and most importantly, enjoy the process.